In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hide any app you want in a way that it's immediately accessible to you, but nobody else can actually see it on your home screen. Let's begin. I will be using iOS 13 for this video, and yes, it works for iOS 14 as well, but the situation is a little different when it comes to iOS 14 because you get the list of all of the apps uh, at the end of your home screen if you scroll all the way to the right. So it's a little different because there you have every single app listed, so it's not really possible to hide it from there. It does work with every single wallpaper, so it's not limited to anything. So first you need to open up Safari and type in the link that you can also find in the description of this video down below. And the way you do it is that you upload an empty image of your home screen. And the way you access that is that you just hold down to one icon and click on edit home screen and you swipe all the way to the right so you can see an empty page. You take a screenshot of this and then you come back to the link in Safari and click on upload. It's It looks pretty much the same as you can see on my phone. So just click on the picture and upload it right there. Wait for it to load up and to uh, for the website to prepare everything. And after it's done, you will get to a page where you will be able to create an icon and download it as your own one. Now, once the website actually processes the image that you have uploaded, then you're going to be presented with this grid of icons and make sure you pay attention to which app and which icon you want to download. You want to think about it ahead of time and make sure to know where exactly you want to put the blank icon. The thing with it is that you have to know it in advance just so you can click on the right one. So let's say you chose the second row and the first icon from the left. So you just click on it. You can see it has been selected and you just move forward and click on uh, add one icon. But you not only do that, so it doesn't mean that the icon you create is going to be blank. I mean, it's going to be, but it also has a function once you add or assign one to it. By the way, guys, if you are interested in this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for a video where I will show you how you can actually hide any app in an invisible folder. So that's actually really cool. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And let's continue with the video right now. So just scroll down just a little bit and there you can see choose application with iCustom. So click on this, it's going to open up a new tab and here you have a couple of options and here it is where it gets interesting. So you can choose application type. So it pretty much chooses what's going to happen when you tap on the blank icon, which is invisible to everyone else. And only you know that it is actually there. So you can pick from a couple of shortcuts. You can choose email shortcut website, but just go with all application for now and click done. And under you can see choose application. So if you tap on it, there are many, many apps that you can pick from. Some of them are in the beta stage, but uh, usually the most known ones or the ones that you probably use are going to be part of this list. So search for something like Facebook or I don't know it's even there. There are three like Messenger and Slingshot even. So click on Facebook and it's just going to create it. And just like that, you can leave the icon label as empty. That's the whole point. So nobody can actually see and know that everything, that anything is actually there. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see that we have the generate icon button right there. So just tap on it and click on install icon. So this will ask you to install a profile, but don't worry about it. It's safe. It, it will even tell you that it's verified. So click on allow and the profile has been downloaded. Now you have to exit Safari and come back to the settings. The first thing that pops up is that the profile has been downloaded. So it's going to tell you that its name is Facebook custom icon or whatever you choose it to be. And just click on install, enter your passcode and now click on install once again. So you are pretty much done. If you come back to your home screen, you can see that we have an icon that you can normally use. Now watch what happens when you actually tap on it. It will 
at first open up this kind of pop up and you just click one more time to go to the app that you desire to go to. It's a little more complicated. It's not going to open up the app instantly, but it's better than nothing, right? So you pretty much have a blank icon on your home screen that nobody actually knows what's going on behind it or that anything is actually there. And when you tap on it, it will get you to the app that you want to. Isn't that cool? And one tip that I would have for you is that you shouldn't really just put it anywhere because it's going to be a little suspicious depending on what you want to do with the app. But if you put it at the first uh, in the first layer or if the icons are going to be mixed up in a way that iPhones usually do not have, then it's going to be apparent. So make sure to put it at the end of the apps, if you know what I mean. So you just put it at the end of the last row of icons. Just so people will think that there isn't anything left there and that, that there is just empty space. But in reality, there is one more icon that you only know about and actually gets you wherever you want. One more thing I have to tell you guys is that, um, well, if you scroll between the pages on your home screen, of course, the icon is going to be apparent. Like if you move it around, you can see the difference because it only looks good and fits and blends perfectly when it is still and when nothing is moving. But I don't really think that this is a problem. At least you can play around with this. But if you even choose one color wallpaper, then it's going to be like super invisible and nobody will actually ever see that you have an icon right there, even though they scroll between the icons and the, the pages on the home screen. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope that it actually does bring you value and that you find it helpful. I mean, you can at least try out what really happens on your phone when you do it. But if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this, and if you want to be like part of the community, make sure you subscribe and also support this video with your thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And also stay tuned for the video where I will show you how you can hide any app without creating this blank stuff icon shortcut in a, an invisible folder because that's super cool using just iOS shortcuts. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. And thanks a lot for watching again. I'll see you guys later in the next one. Peace out.